If you create a lot of 3D scenes, then you absolutely need lighting. But sometimes you can face some challenges. That's why many 3D artists use what is called GoBoss. So today we're gonna take a look at the best Blender annals that help you use GoBoss under what is called implied lighting, and I will show you how you can elevate your work by incorporating it into your scene to create something that looks realistic. In a nutshell, implied lighting is when you have an object off scene and you wanna use its shadows to add extra story or depth to the environment by showing things that are outside of the camera frame. A common trick, for example, is to add tree shadows, which will be seen across your interior design or environment. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender Market is having right now a huge sale, where you can save 25% or more on over 11,000 Blender add-ons, courses, models, you name it. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, you will find a list in the description of this video with the best add-ons in all categories. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Gobos Light Textures. From B Production, the developers of many popular add-ons such as Cloudscapes, Population, Vegetation, Grass Blade, Transportation, and more. So, GoPost Light Textures is a library of animated and static light textures that can generate realistic shadows in your scene. And you can easily create volume, depth, and realism by simulating the real world using just simple tricks. So, inside you will find 14 categories included. In total, you will find assets that include textures with animated leaves which can cast realistic looking shadows in your renders. You can import these into your asset manager and drag and drop it into your scene with one click. And the library is divided into many sections or categories, as I said before. And this includes abstract, caustic, cloud, forest, geometric, grid, leaves, windows, and animated leaves. And in the newest version of the add-on, the developers added 54 new gobos and 5 animated categories, which are smoke, rain, dust, cloud, and color. Right now, this add-on is the best option and the most popular, so I recommend you check it out. Similar to Gobos Light Textures, we have Gobos Plus, which is a collection of multiple Gobo lighting textures or assets, which you can freely use to make your renders and lighting setups more interesting in a way, and I would say also more efficient. What I think makes this add-on worth getting is that it comes with a couple of procedural Gobos that are fully customizable and some of them are even animated. Generally speaking, it comes with 53 assets or presets giving you many effects to choose from, like a cool laser grid, water caustics, lighting arrays and grids, patterns, and of course, we can't forget about animated leaves, windows, and blinds. And what I personally enjoy about this one is the possibility to mix between different animated gobos by diving into the shader editor and making your own presets using a couple of mixed nodes. And as the name suggests, the next add-on called Gobos Lighting Library comes with a large library of gobos that you can use in your projects. When it comes with the numbers, the library has 300 plus gobos that you can use with cycles. And as usual, these gobos allow you to render realistic looking shadows. And the interesting thing is that this library can be used directly from the asset browser. And you'll be able to customize things like blur, color, power, size, rotation, saturation, blend, and so on. And to be precise, you will have 16 categories, including 12 for animals, 9 for architecture, 11 for caustics, 14 for drops and dust, 39 for flare and bokeh, 14 for forest, 21 for grids, 12 for horror and grunge, another 12 for dots and lines, 7 for neon, 23 for palms, 22 for sky, 23 for smoke, 8 for stained glass, and 47 for windows. And just like the other add-ons, this one called Natural Lighting Gobos is a Blender add-on that allows you to work with gobos. The interesting thing is that it works with Cycles Volumetrics, which can help you create animated guideways. And just like the other add-ons, this one is simple too. Just drag and drop the natural light gobos into your scene, and each light will create its own custom user interface in the site panel. For now, the library has 31 animated light gobos, and hopefully it will increase in the future. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, 
you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.